guys! This video covers the boss fights with the Stone Guardian and Corrupt Woodsmith on Master Spirit Guide difficulty. For the complete walkthrough of the game on Expert Spirit Guide difficulty, refer to the playlist in the description. I'll give a few tips on both the boss fights which would help you on this difficulty. On this difficulty, the HP of the boss seems to be increased and you start losing courage if you get hit. My strategy initially was to expose all weak parts of the boss and damage as much as I could in the process. The ads in this fight can get really annoying especially if they spawn behind you. I dealt with them by making sure I was at starting of the area where you begin the boss fight from, since these ads would always spawn in front of you. The boss does only two abilities from range which are throwing a rock and leaping at you with a slam. My strategy to damage the boss during this fight was mostly with a rot arrow and landing in a few melee hits when I dodged his leap if the area was clear of adds. The rot arrow, if used correctly, also kills any ad in front or behind the boss if you manage to line them up. This is really useful and eases off the pressure in the fight. Also, try and gather as much courage especially from the adds that have courage crystal on the head. Hit the crystal to make it drop on the ground and one shot the ad. Millie swings can be parried as their timing is not bad. But staying in Millie is dangerous as I find his leg attack to be really quick and I always missed the parry timing on it. The mechanics of the boss are similar to that in Expert Guide difficulty and I explained them in detail in my earlier walkthrough.
For the first phase of the boss, I do two things. When at range, she would leap towards you with a hammer swing. No need to bother about the parry timing. Just block this attack and then you get ample time to take down the middle pillar. You can fire two to three shots at the pillar in one jump using the slowing time ability. If you do this immediately after the boss's leap, she would be standing next to you and you can hit her with at least 12 to 14 quick hits. Be careful of her jump though. That hurts if you're too close. Repeat this for another time and the boss enters phase 2 when you destroy the pillar the third time. Ignore the ads during the first phase. In phase 2, you can stay at range whenever you want to play it safe. You can block her weapon throw or her leap without being bothered about the parry timing. Once you get away, throw a bomb, blow her up and damage the center core that comes out. Three shots to the core will stun the boss for a good 3 to 4 seconds. Careful on getting out timely as she swings while getting up. For the rest of the phase, I did the same thing. Shoot her with arrows and bombs and melee only if you are comfortable with her abilities and the timing. Usually you can get in a few hits after she misses an attack. As for the adds, save your rot arrow and kill them both by lining them up with one rot arrow. If the boss is lined up too, great. And that's it.
I would keep uploading the boss fights on Master Spirit Guide difficulty as I proceed through the game. Please subscribe to the channel to get notification of the upcoming parts if you like the content. Thanks for watching.